I really enjoyed it. Everything was set up nice. You, you, you and your organization crew did a great job setting everything up. Hello, citizens of the verse. This is old man Johnny Morgan here. I have an amazing guest for you today. His name is Ash versus Darko. He's a fellow YouTuber, uh, amazing content creator, incredible editor as well. His content is absolutely stunning. I had the opportunity to bring him into an event that I've been running, which is the Thunderdome, the little PvP house league, you know, nothing crazy on that. He came in, he I threw him under the in the hot seat to cast a little bit. He's got some amazing footage. I'm really thankful to meet him. So here you are, Ash. Why don't you give the, the audience a little bit of a rundown of who you are and you know your content creation style, and then we'll jump into some questions. Thanks, Johnny. Uh, I'm Ash Darko. I stream now on YouTube. Um, I wouldn't say it's full time, but it's uh, as often as I possibly can. Uh, I've got a show called The Night Shift. It's pretty much because it happens after everyone's gone to bed. So my main audience <laughs> at the moment is the, uh, the US citizens, which is fine by me. Um, content wise uh i just play so um i do have a couple of people that we play with i do like to pvp so I've, i got into pvp yeah, yeah, yeah. because i kept getting ganked uh <laughs> by a person called zelda so i've got to thank zelda really for uh, putting me into it because uh i mean i when i got the game i was just doing box missions and being blown away by the verse and just like yeah. the beauty of it and then i got in PO one day and I just couldn't take off. I, every time I was taking off, I was getting shot and I, I was like, well, I've got a Vanguard. I can, I can beat this guy. I got my Vanguard out. <laughs> and I just get on getting smoked. And I was like, what is going on? I don't understand this. And then I heard the term PVP and the, the, the type of play that that involves. And then, yeah, I switched and it's been murder ever since. That's fantastic to hear. Cause that's very similar to my own journey. And right. Started, I, I've got brought in by Mikey and uh, Meyer. Right. So I was big. I watched them. You know, Morse videos and stuff like that, too. I was aware of the Kickstarter at the beginning. I'm an old freelancer, Star Lancer guy, so I was already burned by Chris Roberts on that. So I was not hyped over the Star <laughs> system. I wasn't. Like, I was hyped over the concept of it, but I was like, wait a second. This is freelancer, Star Lancer again. Okay, Chris, good luck. But then, you know, the community changed my mind on it over time because I kept I, I kept an eye on it, right? Yeah. But I actually watched Failure to Report, who's a dead channel now. Uh, his channel was mainly just shitting on Star Citizen development. So I initially watched that, <laughs> but then I noticed a change, right? And then the feed, because I watched him, threw me in with Mikey and, and Meyer. And then I fell in love with Meyer because he's the type of guy I like. Narrative, you know, doing characters in games, he's a voice yeah, actor. Yeah. Uh, Mikey, I like the mining side from stuff too. So I got into him because he's just this nice, nice guy that does a community, right? And re nice entry point. But then, yeah, I came in, started doing box missions, mining. And then I like to do combat too. Like I come from DayZ, so I'm not, I've never been against the random PVP and stuff. So I don't really get it within Star Citizen when people complain about that. Like I can, I do to a degree, but the same result you did Levels. is the same thing I did is put the time in, right? Put the time yeah, in to learn yeah. how to play. I mean, there's levels. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, well, there's I, levels uh, for sure. Sorry, on the griefing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was Wing Commander Boy on the SNES, so that's the only game I've uh, had uh, Chris Roberts uh, influenced from way back in the day, and I absolutely adored that game. Yeah, I just thought too. it was uh, above and beyond, uh, you know, the games that were around at the time. But then with Star Citizen, I had never heard it, never heard of the Kickstarter, never heard of anything really? until some videos popped up on YouTube from Morphologists and someone else, uh, Cobra. Cobra. Oh yeah, TV. I love Cobra. And his yeah. enthusiasm, his enthusiasm for this game. At that time, I mean, I've already been in it two or three years, three years maybe max. Oh, okay. you're the same as me. His enthusiasm for the game it was, it was like, oh my god, this guy is like, and he was genuinely blown away. He wasn't putting it on, and I can still see that now in, in his gameplay. He's just, he's still in awe. Even if he blows up, he's in awe of it. It's hilarious. Um, so morph, but then morph videos when he's like reviewing the eight ninety jump, and you're like, there's a ship like that in a game, yeah, and you can look around it, and and it just blew my mind. So I was like, oh, I've got to get on this, and then yeah, yeah, I made the punt. Within about two months, I'd upgraded my ship. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, I've got to get another one. And then, yeah, it, like I said, I just enjoyed it. But then the PvP side had really flipped how I play it, the training, I guess, that you want to put into it, how, you know, to get something out of it, because you can't just point and shoot. And that's that's the challenge now. And that's that's why I enjoy it. I enjoy trying to get better. I mean, I've mined, I've made my millions mining, and then it gets yeah. wiped. And, you know, I've had that fun. And I, I don't mind going back to it with a crew because it's fun uh but the main like drive is is, is shits and giggles if i'm honest i, I want to have fun number one 
I don't mind the madness that comes out of it. Like some of my videos are around like the funny shit and the, yeah, yeah. the silly stuff that comes out of it. I quite like that side of Star Citizen that it can just throw this mad madness of it. Like Clip of the Day is hilarious. Um, send some stuff over to him. And, and what they do over there is is very, instead of shitting on it, they just they shit on it with a giggle because it is funny, some of the stuff that comes out of it. So I like the funny side. And I'll, I, I don't have a direction in terms of, I want to make this content. I just want to make fun stuff and if people enjoy it then that's great and if they don't then move on it doesn't really bother me <laughs> easy peasy right easy peasy as a good piece of advice i am interested let's break into the pvp a bit because i did the same thing like i come from daisy so i like pvp but i was not a big pvp or in daisy i was more of a narrative player i played on a server called daisy underground they have a great concept called organic rp which is pretty much you meet two people whatever happens that's the rp deal with it if he shoots you in the head then he shoots you in the head and the story ends there. Exactly. Sad, but, you know, start a new story and go again. So I got into that mentality and I love that in here. And then it, for me, it was Moist Noodle um, was like the griefer one, right? So when I first heard about Moist Noodle, he was this bad guy. And then I saw his name pop up. So I went after him, right? He kicked my ass really easy, right? I got smoked. And then one other time I went after him. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to check this guy's channel out, right? Because it doesn't like what people are saying, there's a disconnect for me. So I went and checked Moist out and yeah. then Cutlet and the rest of them and TDL. And then I fell in love with them, right? Like, Moist, how can you not? The guy is an insanely sweet individual. He's so nice. Um, and he wraps a, you know, his little shell of I'm a big bad PvP, but really he's, he's a giant teddy bear, right? Like, if you look at his interaction with E10, right? That one was fantastic. Yeah, he felt so bad. And then, yeah, yeah, I, heard about that. That. I read about that. That's fun. It was amazing content. Some of the That's best cool, content though. that came out of yeah, him and Cutlet uh, at the time. Good. Anyway, yeah, so we're talking over each other here. We're going to edit this out. No, we're not. We're going to go live with it. Fuck it. We're doing live. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, so that's where I'm kind of, I got into it and now I got involved. I've been on the edge of PVP for a while now. I hadn't really committed to it. I got myself a couple of T1600s right because I wanted the sticks and I wanted to get better at it then realized they're not good enough. I've now upgraded to the VKB for the right, keeping the T1600 for the left. So cost is not too bad. And, you know, there's a world of difference. And then, so for me, yeah. like I saw Katie put out her call. So we're going to talk about Skunk Works a little bit here, I guess, because that's how kind of our inflection point here is. I, when she put out her call that they were building a fighter squadron, I saw an opportunity to join with people that were interested in team-based PvP. So I'm not really into solo that much, mostly because I, like, I want the big space battles. So that's where I'm kind of heading with it. And now I'm here at the spot where I saw the, you know, Atmo Esports uh, fight or flight. I saw that we can actually do esports in here, and I think there's a real market long term for it in here because we have this skill based game, and it is a skill based game, right? You keep going up levels, you keep working at it, you keep getting better until you hit your physical skill, right? Like I am a 45 year old man, my Twitch skills are going to be limited by my age. That's going to happen, but it's not huge, you know, it's not huge, so that's good. Uh, and then so I jumped in there, and now we've just grown to the point where we're just a fighter academy. We're actually going through some rebranding right now. We're trying to figure out a new name because we're not just that. And we're going to keep focusing on team-based PvP. So that's where I threw out the Thunderdome. And then I'm reaching out to more people like yourself because the idea here is, and you got a video drop on this Friday, um, which would have already run, right, when this launches. This interview will launch on Saturday. So the link is in the description down below. Hit it. His trailer is there, too. Ash is an amazing editor. I love his work. And I think content creation wise, I want to get into some narrative stuff in the future, but we'll see where that goes. Cause I want, I, I love your style and your eye, but we got into the PVP side. So we ran two tournaments internally. And this was the first one where we actually brought external people in and started shopping around a little bit. And it was a huge success. So what I, well, from my perspective, it was a huge success. I, you know, um, I would like to talk a little bit about that. Like how, how did you feel? So this is your first PVP tournament then too, then. Yeah, so uh, in terms of uh, PvP, I went at it well a while ago going, well, I had a throttle and a stick. Uh, and again, I was wondering why I don't have such dexterity and why is everyone turning on me and doing all this kind of stuff. And then I didn't used to watch content creators. And then I started watching it and going, what is going on? How are these people flying? And I found the Dark Lore. Uh, yeah, and was watching we'll him and he's him. like dual sticks dual sticks and i was like what's he on about how on earth are you flying with a joystick on the left the concept was just uh completely foreign to me so then after researching it i was like oh shit right okay this is this makes sense so i, I, yeah, I, I yeah. wonder how i'll do it. so i got a couple of ekbs uh i haven't looked back i think they're amazing pieces of kit um 
and then it just kind of grew from there. So I've had um, people who I hang around, so the Tornado crew, which is Salty Space Kitten and Aonda, they are very helpful. I, I kind of hang out with them a bit and, yeah, and basically know. learning from good PvP viewers. So obviously TDL is a, a great pilot, great PvP. I've watched Moist uh, and some of his st- stuff that he's been doing when he's been trying to train people up when he had that training academy. So yeah. that was my first thing, and I kept meaning to go to it, but it was always... Um, midday or just late in the day and i, I know i, I never got to go to you and i wanted to yeah i can't do anything like that so i was watching it and trying to learn you know from visual kind of representation so it's kind of just been cobbled together from a few other people and vegan spaceman as well you know he was running some of the training uh sessions over there so vegan's great just picking too. up bits of knowledge vegan is great yeah he definitely holds his own uh, and he's been very helpful in fact tdl and vegan have been very helpful in not only listening and learning they've been uh, one-on-one with me and, and help me develop my channel and my content and and advise me on certain things so big shout outs to them to be to be honest uh, you know very very, a, very good it's a good spot to talk about tdl because i'm a huge tdl fan too and he is my pvp space daddy for sure like i learned um, so much from him <laughs> i fly like doing the left right roll because of him because he caught talk so much you want to fly like an airplane well i fly like a helicopter right but you know, doing this will help you in the long run. Cause, and then I started learning Atmo combat from him. And then like, oh my God, the idea of having yaw on my left right now is just insane for me. I have to have it on the twist, right? Um, yeah, some people the jury's still out. I mean, it, it, yeah, yeah. someone put a tweet up the other day. You know, where'd you put it? And I was like, I, I couldn't put roll on twist. No, absolutely not. It's it's on the axis for sure. Uh, absolutely, I can't do it now. I can't like even trying to go back. I tried it. And I'm like, I don't know how I ever flew like that. That's terrible. But <laughs> but TDL is a huge influence to me, and I love his content too. Yeah. And I am I was devastated the way Twitch uh, treated him. So that's why I'm here. Hundred percent. I had. A little bit going on YouTube to throw up my episodes because I do still trying to figure out my content hustle, right? Like I like to do the player interaction stuff is where I started. I wanted to highlight that, you know, if you turn the VoIP on and you talk to people in game, you'll have a better game experience. And I'm demonstrating it over and over. And then I went into the pilot journey stuff because I'm like, well, I'm doing this PVP thing now. I'm going to do a pilot journey and just kind of highlight my things. And now it's grown into I'm doing a bit of interview stuff and I'm really enjoying that too. And you know, I see the market just, you know, the YouTube market is so much more beneficial from us for us. And TDL was huge in that. So when they when they, when Twitch banned them, right, purple headed bitch went all crazy um, for no reason. They banned him. And I'm almost certain they banned him because he's Scottish and that their AI system does closed captioning. <laughs> reading. Exactly. General Desperado got banned for the same thing, right? Ozzy, I'm guarantee you that's yeah. what it is. Like a stupid, stupid thing that all they needed was a human check and balance, no problem. But they treated him like trash, and he's not the only one. And then because of him, I discovered Doc. Like I didn't really know who Doctor Disrespect was. I vaguely did, but I haven't watched him. Now I'm a huge fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't joined the Champions Club yet, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I want to. Right, guy's amazing. And he's then I hilarious. found out what they did to him. And then what they're doing to all these content creators. So I had to exit, right? I couldn't, I, in good conscience, I could not continue to use that platform. I don't even like, I miss the people there, but I don't even go and watch there that much. Cause I don't want to give Twitch views, but I want to support the creator. So I pay them through gilded. Now, by the way, everyone, if you have a content creator, you love, and they have a gilded go through their gilded to give you your subs. They get yeah, n- sure. like nine twenty out of a $10 rip, right? So they take like 85 cents or something like that on 10 bucks. Twitch takes half, right? It's two fifty to That's do crazy. nothing it's to crazy. support some like you know hot tub streamers and whatever stupid deals they're doing. I don't know. All yeah, their like, social scr- is- out there too, so fuck them. <laughs> I mean, it's a dark, it's a dark hole that I don't know how it's come about that it's it's like that. I really don't. But I mean, I never really knew about that either because I was fairly late to watching Twitch, and then kind of when you hear people being blocked or banned for for almost inconsequential stuff, and then you have. Uh, titty streamers and ASMR. Yeah, titty streamers. And it's basically paid soft core, soft uh, soft core porn. Yeah, it is. Like, I don't get, I don't get the, I don't get the, the, the comparison when you ban someone for you know killing an NPC in a game allegedly or using profanity to a point when it's an adult channel anyway. I, I don't get it, and and that that was the start of the fuck that i'm 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 not going to be associated with that and the lack of like you say human interaction where there could have been a check off to say oh that's no, fine you know leave it go i mean this, the jury's still out whether it's someone he killed in pvp on daymar to be fair it is <laughs> i know like, no no 
My bet is terrible technology, but I'm in IT. I know how shitty IT actually is on the back end. So that's my sus. But either way, yeah, yeah. didn't matter. And you know what? I've had way better success over here. I know you've hit oh, broken over the 100 subscriber mark now, correct? Yeah. So uh, I came you got your name channel. And yeah, well, I, I was a YouTuber a long time ago in the sense that I, I um, created my account like over 10 years ago. So I, I already had a custom URL because I think you could have it back then. However, oh. um, I've had nine subscribers for like the last 15, 20 years or however long I've had the channel. And then as soon as I made the jump and just started pumping everything, I, you know, I, I got Twitch, I got affiliate early in the year and then I just stopped uh, and moved over literally, literally on a, on a, on a, on a dime. Uh, because of the TDL thing, but ever since coming over here, because of the way uh, Twitch works, uh, sorry, YouTube works with the videos and you get, uh, you know, the stats, doesn't matter when you're on or if you're off, you get yeah. the stats, you get the, the accreditation for it. And it's just gone up. Uh, it's a steady trail. Um, I'm certainly not getting partner this year. I'm not overly fussed. The point is I'm getting recognition or I'm getting uh you know, the stats for being over here. Whereas you wouldn't get shit on Twitch, you know, if you've last, but no, I don't think anyone really goes back and checks VODs out and you don't get the recognition for it. If they do, you know, there's no, they can't, re, you know, you have no metrics, any yeah. further growth. Yeah. It, there's nothing. So there's no way to re-engage with them. Fit. Yeah. I think even if they watch your VOD over I there, think. right. Like if, even if they watch your VOD that lasts only for a little while, even though they're connected to Amazon that has an, essentially an infinite amount of storage space yeah. available to them, they, they're still not keeping the VODs, which doesn't make any sense. There's no discoverability. Like YouTube has some problems, but they're working on their interface for gaming, right? So we're going to have a whole new UI dropping for us, a whole bunch of new tools coming down the pipe here. It's actually a pretty exciting time. And then we've got shorts, yeah. which is an interesting one to play around with. I've had... A little bit of success. I have to work on it a bit more. My last one, I think I got 500 views. So, right, that's really nice. I the same thing for me. It's only been about what? How how long ago TDL happened? Six months ago? Uh, September. Yeah. September. Yeah. 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 So a little while ago, and then it took me a couple months to ramp up. But I have not streamed to Twitch now. I think in two or three months now it's, it's been, and I, I don't even see the point of going back. Right. We get so many more tools. No, I haven't, I haven't. I tell you what I did do. I mean, this is the reason you and me met was uh, in TDL's uh, community. Yeah, and we, we were talking about the switch. You you said, "Oh, I've I've worked out this this funky way to dual stream because it's oh that's right." And, you know, and I was like, "What? That's amazing!" So like once a month, I I'll do the dual stream. So I created like a minute, two minute glitch. Uh, it's like a Groundhog I Day cross matrix video where I'm stuck in Grim Hex, just going round and round and round, and all the monitors are like flashing YouTube symbols to basically say, I'm not on it here anymore. I'm over here. So every, every like month I'll just dual stream just, just for shits and giggles. Cause I'm curious and I don't think anyone has yet, but if someone was to come on it, they're either going, Oh God, he's doing that again. Or if a new person's coming on, then they'll, they'll get the message. I'm not there anymore. I'm over here. So I just, I have to funny. upgrade the way you, you were doing it. I think it's hilarious. I yeah, I was FF, FF, MPEG, right. I'm a command line guy, system in. So I was like, screw this. I don't want to concede the territory to it. Like, I do not want to concede the territory to them. We shouldn't, we should be able to cross advertise that we're over on another platform on your crappy platform. Hey, can I do this? Oh, I can. Ah, oh, crap. Exactly. My issue is I don't have the bandwidth, right, to to do it because, right. um, like, I, I just run out of bit rate then. So I hurt my stream. So I have to upgrade. I can't get fiber in the place I'm at right now. So I'm stuck on like a 1510 connection, right? So I have enough to stream to one location. And wife, don't watch yeah, Netflix, yeah. please, right? Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm getting back to doing that too because I I think we should do that as a bigger group. A little later on down the road when we have maybe a bit more traction here, right? But it was a good test for the small community creators to go, okay, can we do this? Oh, we can. Yeah, it's not that I hard. Uh, Thank you. Thank I you. was blown away with the suggestion. It just didn't even cross my mind. And then you were like, oh, I've just done this. And I, I watched your video. <laughs> so it's funny. I was like, yeah, screw them. Fuck this. Let's just do that. Yeah, mine Let's was so rough compared to yours. Yours is so much better. I loved it so much. Mine but was just I, like the... It's just a concept. The hell out of here. I, I, yeah, I just I had this concept and I just thought, um, if someone was to come there, and I, I obviously you can't stream in like a one hour video, a three hour video comparing on how long you stream is just kind of doesn't make sense. So what I was thinking, what can I, we're going to do to make it kind of, 
And then just Groundhog Day just came into my head. It's like, yeah, you're stuck there and you're constantly going back and seeing that it's Twitch, uh, it's YouTube. And then you wake up again. You're like, oh, is it? Is it? And I, yeah, I don't know. You'd have to go and check it. But You, you want to know what my, my one in my head that I wanted to do was a group of guys, right? They're firing around a corner. One of them's yelling at you. You're looking at you. You're like, get out of here, man. Run, we'll take her. Referencing the purple-held crazy tentacle bitch is going nuts. We don't know why. She's attacking people. She's no reason, man. Just run. And you have one person fall and die and then like have that like tentacle come around that's all purple, right? Showing that Twitch has gone crazy. But I'm like, that's way too much production value to do. Like, I don't have the resources for that. I'd like to do it because I really yeah, yeah. dislike Twitch now, man. Like, I... And the more I dig into you it, see the it in more... a different light, it's very obvious, isn't it? And it's mean. There's a meanness to it. Like what they did when I saw Timmy saying, Doc, I miss you, right? Like, I miss you. And then that's why he made the switch over to YouTube so he could come and play with his buddy again. There's more to it, obviously, than that. But that underlying, I was like, Jesus Christ, Twitch, that's just freaking mean. You split up a friendship. And you, if friends get together and play together, you'll destroy their income. Who the hell do you think you are? Yeah, it's it's that last statement that you know a warning is fine. You know, a conversation where or, you know it will will give you a three day you know blackout. It's that just you're gone. gone. <laughs> thanks just for like, thanks for all the the money and, and value you created for us. Get the fuck out. What? Exactly. No, and the amount like, of money he's pulling in and they're getting fifty percent of that is just crazy. Crazy yeah, especially crazy. for Doc or Timmy or the bigger guys too, Lupo and stuff like that. I love them though. I can see why they've still left. been taking the subs as well. That's 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 the pisser, and that's what TDL found out is they're still taking the subs off people, even though you're banned, and they're still you know the next month still yeah. taking the t- subs. It's like you cheeky fuckers. That's and that's not right. And YouTube has its own yeah. issues, but they don't really fall into the gaming categories. I'm not going to talk about them all, right? I don't have a problem with YouTube. I think it's a great platform for gamers to move to. I think it's a great platform to build content on um, and to potentially collaborate on content because you actually see the metrics. So I'm going to be curious mm-hmm. to see how much traffic gets driven in from my channel into yours, right? For when we when we launch this, because I'm going to keep the link there. I did it with a Cutlet, right? So I did that interview with Cutlet because we had the random interaction in Jump Town. I did an interview with him. He put the interview up on his <laughs> channel, cool. which was great because I'm all about this. And that's the big thing about Thunderdome that I'm hoping to do is that it becomes a content generation platform for people to make their different view of the event. So I'm so excited to see your video. I am so excited to see someone else. Durgan, who you got to fly with, right? Amazing guy. Yeah. Met him through the skunks now. Um, he's really, you know, uh, squadrons and he does a bunch of other flight stuff. So he, he was really on the comms, right? His comm call outs were amazing. Um, yeah, but he, he, did, he did a video of another event that we did in and like his, his edit of it, I was part of it and I was still like, oh my God, I'm so hyped for this. Right. I'm like, wait a second, I was there. It was a shit show of bugs, but his edo edo of it, um, it was still a really fun event. It was great. But like, it's seeing the different ways different people do it. So his music style versus your music style versus my music style, my edit style and narrative and stuff. So I'm hoping, you know, I'm going to keep on doing uh, Thunderdome every third Sunday of the month. I'm going to keep to that schedule, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Open to everyone. The link is in the description. Sign up. It's a randomized draft, right? So this is how Ash got to meet two new people that he got to fly with. Scarlet uh, Ashcroft, the demon queen of the six heavens. I'm a big Scarlet Ashcroft <laughs> fan. She's real good. We don't have a lot of girls in in, yeah. in uh, Star Citizen, and we have even fewer PvPers. Star, uh, Scarlet's both of those, and she's a good PvPer. Um, really good personality on her, too. So, yeah, that's kind of the plan. So what's next? Let, let, let's get into a bit more Ash here. I, I we, we wandered off into TDL, how much we love him. Uh, amazing content creator. His <laughs> actual link is in the description, too. Go smash that like button, watch his live stream. Um, but what do you want? Well, long term, wh- where do you want to go with this? Right now, you're kind of at the hobbyist level, right? Like I am, uh, and we're moving into the hobbyist into maybe semi pro. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess. Do you have a long term vision for yourself in this, or is it just like you love you love interacting with the community? Yeah, so I, I mean, when I first got the game, I, I had a couple of people who I regularly played with, and they just kind of got pissed off with the bugs and this, that, and the other. So they took a sabbatical, and they're still on it. Um, 
Uh, and that's when I fell into the community side of it. I, I met people like Vegan, uh, obviously TDL, although I've never flown with TDL yet. Um, but falling into different uh, opportunities with other people is very, um, what's the word? Well, well, welcoming, but also like interesting and, and new. So I could, you know, I could fly around Grim Hex and, and Damar, you know, for the rest of the time. It does get boring because no one is flying and no one is doing the the bounty hunting because the system's just broken at the moment. They're not yeah. paying enough. It's it's you got the the issues there. But then you know you ping the message saying we've got this thing and that's right up my street. I just want to shoot people and not go to prison because prison's prison. But I just want to have the fun. And obviously, if I learn a bit from that, even better. And, and to be honest, that event and uh, the way it was ran was smooth no issues you know we as soon as we saw a bug on the server we jumped straight back out everyone was on board coming into it those two uh durgan and um scarlet who are flow with were exceptional pilots i think i might have held my own in the first battle but the second one wasn't too uh you know i, I made some mistakes because i wasn't flying with with the team but they were very very good uh good direction and it was just a lot of fun you know there's no like uh saltiness you know everyone loves that word yeah it was, it was nice it was just like let's all go and have fun and if we die we die but it is just good fun so that kind of shit is right up my street i'd happy nice. happily do more of that good we'll see you on the um, 20th then awesome you're locked in <laughs> i think so yeah no I, I think i'm definitely up for the 20th i mean i've even signed up for the uh, atmo um one but i i to be honest i think they're they're like we're gonna get the list of names whoever's the biggest streamers the top 32 of them we're gonna take through because <laughs> i think that's just, oh, and they, they need that up. they need I, I didn't even see that yeah yeah go check it out uh fight flight uh fight flight dot gg i think um oh, yeah, I okay think i wasn't they sure if they were running the next as well one. yeah they're they're yeah, they need going the for the so pro. I understand. right i'm going for the yeah, house league yeah 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 and i'm I definitely not you. um not a a great pvp -er, and I, I would i would say i'm just about good i mean the last two months have, i've come on a shit ton but there's still so much to learn and um, but i don't you know i don't care i mean that's the difference in doing it in the pu is you know you can't train or you can't fly with you know you can't regularly train and arena command is just such a mess it's trash it's very ganky and there's no team play it is trash I i'll go in it every now and again just to try out and just just tweak a bit um basic aims, basic so. skills it's fantastic like learning how to the basic skills it's really good you grind a little bit in it but it's just a center blob everyone goes into the center and it's the same yeah, meta fight center. every time so it gets boring plus i hate the rec system i think it's dumb like at this stage of the game yeah. later on sure when we're in live then i know uh, yeah it's a lot of stuff but right now <laughs> why but i don't want them to spend any time on it either so yeah it's no, okay no, we're not. <laughs> but this is my point so, so you pinging out that message when i had a look at it and i was like well this is well up my street um and it's it's that kind of stuff that, I, that i'm into i mean the content will come naturally you know if the fights are good and we get a good server and it's good the content it doesn't need to be like heavily edited it's it, it's there you just tweak it and, and put it together and it'll speak for itself and i think we were lucky that night there was there was good fights not a lot of desync no one had uh apart from one of your guys firing a missile and he blew up which i thought was funny yeah and and they have so far it from but yeah and for me I, I i i for goals i just want to keep having fun i mean the moment something's not fun i just don't do it anymore so that's, good. that's um, a good plan actually the the channel will do what it will i'm not setting a goal because again i, I i'm still going to work hard so it's not like i'm just going to sit on my ass and just just do nothing i'm still working hard to just see where it goes i don't envision any stopping of the day job anytime soon uh, no but no i'm just happy to that this is all organic i'm doing it i've had the push and the and tdl is very um sorry to uh, you know go on about it but he's been very no no um, do i love him about pushing pushing my channel on his channel and people are coming over when he shuts off so we have a bit of a a time menu almost like vegans in the morning tdl's in the afternoon into the evening and i hit it at the night time so it kind of falls all well for us the trio on uh, who made the switch to youtube so it's quite nice and his people sometimes come over to mine and then they watch the videos and he pumps me a lot on his channel and offers advice so i'm happy to just keep going I, like i say, i'm not going to set a goal because um i don't think that's healthy sometimes to 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 you know, set something in six months, and then if you're not there, you're upset or you're disappointed. I just, there's no point. I'd rather, uh, it's rather just day by day, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, all right, I'm having a break, or I'm not doing this today. And then the next day, you know, you're back on it. I just think uh, there's too many goals and targets in this world, and I just think you should just mm. have fun. And and the content will come from you having fun, or I playing like it that. how you want to play it, or jumping out and having a break. You know, there's, there's too much pressure doing 
life in general. So, you know, why, why do it in your, in the thing that you enjoy? So I like that attitude, Ash, that's a great attitude to come at it. Cause I'm like, I, I don't have goals either per se. I have some, well, I do have some goals. So there's things I would like to accomplish in the long term, yeah. no timeline yeah. though at all for it. I agree with that. Cause we have too much of that pressure and stuff in real life, especially how crazy it's been lately. But I'm in the same type of situation, whereas I really enjoy this as a hobby. If I can make it more than a hobby yeah. in the long term, cool. But that's not really my goal or or or, or um, why I'm here. I'm not trying to become a streamer. I'm not trying to become a content creator per se. I just I want to do some creative stuff. And my own personal level. Yeah, exactly. I, I The only thing I've ever really been creative with was food. So I'm, I do a lot of cooking, right? And all that type of stuff. And I love it. Um, but outside of that i'm not very artistic other than you know i i speak pretty well and i can i can do a room pretty well and kind of funny and stuff and that but i haven't really done any content creation and i wanted to do some of it here because i like talking i love social and i love meeting other players in game and it was my big thing in day z like we were mechanics right we just hung out in cherno we had a mechanic shop that we did. We, we boosted cars <laughs> and built cars and everyone in the server knew to can't come to us to get car parts. Right. And that was our interaction level. So no one really yeah, killed cool. us because we're all civvies. We didn't have any guns. Like, I just carry a Magnum. I go in my track suit, right. My pole boy hat, my, my, like the gear, no one wears. Right. I would just do that all the time. And then this, like, we had this great community going. We had a sauna going, we had Jill in her clothing shop. Like we brought the, the place back to life. Right. <laughs> The mountain men came in, they were doing security in there. It was great. I loved it. But Daisy was too small. So it's too small. And then what stole yeah. me away was Star Citizen size. They have everything I love about Daisy, and they solved the pain point of everyone finding my base five minutes later because it's this tiny map, right? No matter what, they're gonna find your stuff. And in Star Citizen, it offers me yeah. the frontier base type thing out in the middle of nowhere where I can like maybe someone will find it if they put a shit pile of effort in the same amount of effort I put in to find this secret location. And if that person finds my base, dude, I want you to find my base, right? If you're going to put the time yeah, in to yeah, find yeah, yeah. it and I'm hoping that I can be notified that's or that's I can get involved or I can at least see the security cam footage to see the guy robbing me to be like, oh, I'm putting that in my content. And it's like, Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Right. And so I love it. And I, I love the community. I'm looking forward to it growing more. So that's why I'm doing Thunderdome. I love to, I love Atmo Esports and I call them the pro league, right? Yeah, sure I'm doing the house league, right? This is for the space dads who are not good at PVP yet. So maybe you'll get matched up with someone like Ash who is good at it. Come on out, right? You'll make a relationship and maybe you'll go watch the stream and then hang out with him and learn more. Or maybe you'll, you'll meet up with someone else. But the, the, the goal of it really is to give you guys all of a place to come super low entry, right? You do not have to be super good. Just have to have a good attitude and, and willing to have a little bit of fun. And maybe you can get to the Atmo Esports level. I'd like to get there. I'd like to do it. I know I would yeah. not get in right now, right? And fair, right? They have a business that they're running. They're not doing a hobbyist house, you know, house league level that I'm doing at this stage. I have a different perspective on the way the business model should be done, but that's, you know, that's their, their gig. We're doing a more traditional <laughs> one. I'm more of the NFT, you know, crypto guy and blockchain guy. So I'm very interested in, I think the guy's name's Wix or whatever. He just moved off of YouTube. I have to look him up, but he's going over to Polygon, which is an Ethereum based, um, basically streaming platform, right? So a web three version of Twitch and YouTube. In my opinion, uh, that's, that's where it. the real future is for content creators is cutting out the middleman. We don't actually need YouTube. We don't actually need Twitch other than that. They're in a point of bringing all the, the people together, right? They're a search they engine for content. Them, yeah. yeah. They're a search engine for content. Basically they're like Google, right? Trying to displace Google is pretty hard. How would you do that? Well, you'd have to have something better, faster and stronger. No one's done that yet. No one's done that yet on YouTube either. So we'll see. There may be, but I'm very interested. Anyway, I'll get off of it. I'm too much of a blockchain guy. I talk about it too much, but this has been an amazing interview, Ash. I really appreciate the time. Everyone, remember, you know the drill. It's YouTube. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe. Click the bell. Make sure you get all the notifications. All right, we're going to wrap it up here, Ash. I love you, man. Super awesome to play with you. I'm looking for That's the next one. Um, any last words? Uh, stay safe, drink beer. Stay safe, drink beer. Oh, that's our second interview, the beer one. We were just we were talking that before we did the interview. <laughs> I'm drinking 1664. What are you drinking? I got some brew dogs, some brew dog IPA. 
Free dog Stay IPA. Nice. Mm, good. I think we'll cap it there. Uh, y'all, go get yourself a beer. Have a nice cold one. Ash, you're amazing. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for having me, Johnny. Appreciate it. Loved it.